Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, February 15th, and I started to vlog yesterday, and then I just completely got distracted with what I wanted to do for the evening. So, I've been up since 4, and I've been busy. It's now 7.25, and I'm very proud of myself for being productive. So, I want to like keep this up. Hopefully, I can keep this up. Okay, so what have I been up to? Woke up. I I pretty much hit the ground running. I got out of the bed at 4 to turn off my alarm. Again, I my alarm is away from my bed. So I literally have to get up and turn it off. Like I can't just reach my arm out and like turn it off. So basically I started a little laundry. I had to, let's see, from there I went straight into my Bible reading. I'm trying to do that like first thing after I put in a load of laundry, just start, just go ahead and start my Bible reading and not wait. I used, I used to wait until about 5.30 to read, but I just decided, let me just, since I'm slow in the morning, I just tend to do that. So right before my Bible reading, I make myself some tea. So this morning I had... I have this energy tea and it's supposed to have 95 milligrams of caffeine yes I am a caffeine person fiend get it so anyway, I had that with um, the black tea with the jam and lemon ginger so that was tasty and I read uh, I'm in the book of Revelation. I read Revelation 5. So that was a blessing. I really enjoy reading my Bible in the morning. I'm, I think I mentioned this before, but I do not use this time to study. I use this time to read and I'll read the passage. I, I'll, I will read the chapter at least twice because I'll read it straight through then I'll go back with my highlighters and if I want to make a quick note about something I'll do that and so um so I, I read it at least twice and that usually takes me about 30 minutes so I was able to do that then I had a few minutes before five o'clock to um to do something else so what I've been reading is this book here teaching science Teaching Science So That Students Learn Science, A Paradigm for Christian Schools by John D. Mays. I really enjoy this. I've been listening to a lot of his lectures on the Classical Academic Press website, the Classical U, I think they call it. And I have really been learning a lot and even able to share some things with my husband. What I like to do when I'm reading, especially something like this where it's like dense with information, I'll try and communicate it back to my husband to sort of just help me process the information because let's face it, sometimes you'll read something and it's like, what did I just read? Do I understand it? So I read that book. I also read that book. I also read this book, excuse me, last night before I went to bed. And I'm also making my way through, I didn't read it this morning, but I read it last night. I'm making my way through this book here, and this is by the same author, Science for Every Teacher. And this is, I think, geared towards the um, uh, elementary level. So, that was my morning. Then right soon as about five, yes, about five o'clock, I got up and I started my morning routine. Now, my morning routine consists of... I'm going to my planner. And my planner is a work in progress. I'll, you know, I'll show it to you. Alright, so my planner is a work in progress. This is the cover. I kind of just cut it out from... Um, I made it a small... This was an 8 and a half by 11 cover. And I wanted to have a half size planner. So I just cut it for a temporary cover. But I went ahead and I got me a new cover from Staples yesterday. So I'm excited to do that. But... Can't do that yet. Anyway, this, um, let me just show you real quick. 
So I kind of made a, just a quick outline of what I would like to do each morning. And that's basically tidy my room, check the planner, do a quick clean in the bathroom, unload the dishwasher and the laundry. Now I did all of these things except for tidy my room. My husband wakes up after me. So, and he actually woke up much later than normal just because he didn't have to be into work until whenever. So I will do this after my workout. So after my workout, since I work out a little bit later, around uh, between eight and nine, I get dressed and I just quickly clean my room at that point. So I'm really proud of myself for doing that. So what I also did in this planner, it's a work in progress, like I said, is I'm trying to track myself. So as you can see, I have not been doing a good job with doing things right away. So anyway, I'll explain that another time. But let's look at my plans for the week. Because I did, um, this last week, I did kind of fill in my schedule. I didn't do anything on Sunday really. And this was today. So today is Monday and I usually change my sheets every Monday. Bible time, planning time, which I worked on. I usually do homeschool planning around this time or any type of planning around this time between 6 and 7. I already got breakfast started. My workout is at 8. So I am on a roll this morning. <laughs> I am on a roll. And I'm already dropping that weight that I gained from my cycle and from eating a little bit too much. So I'm really excited about that, but it's only Monday. Can I keep this going? <sighs> That's the goal. The goal is to keep it going. My other goal is to get more protein in my diet. So I am going to, I started this yesterday, but I really, really want to focus on getting more protein. So yesterday I forgot to track my self and I did not track my dinner now dinner yesterday was we had takeout and I we went to Outback but anyway I've been including this oh let me go all right sorry about that so I've been trying to add more protein into my diet and I usually put one scoop in my coffee but now I'm starting to make a quick smoothie so what I did yesterday was I added uh, two scoops of this and two scoops is 20 grams of protein so two scoops I added a little bit of milk some water ice a little bit of blueberries a little bit of strawberries I'll show you today and a little bit of stevia so when I make that if I remember I will um, try and show you but right now it is 802 my kids are uh, finishing up their breakfast and I have to get myself together to work out and I did not come up with the workout routine just yet so I have to do that quickly and I kind of know what I want to do but as far as my weight I'm 183 I was 183 yesterday it was 183.5 yesterday I didn't really weigh myself yet this morning but that was my weekly so I'm up two pounds what you say baby you put you spilled the oatmeal on you okay I gotta go okay hi guys so it's 209 and I'm waiting for my son because I gotta I gotta actually finish up with my older two I just wrapped up with my youngest we didn't even do everything that I planned to do because we got it off I didn't start working with him until lunch so after lunch time so while I'm waiting for my son, I'm going to make me some coffee. I'm going to heat up my coffee. I'm feeling a little bit sleepy, but you know what? I feel pretty good. And I, like, I'm just enjoying this day because it's, my mood is just great. And I want to remember this moment because I don't know if I'm going to get it. Like, I'm, I don't know if it's going to happen like this tomorrow. So anyway, I had my smoothie. I had my protein with a little bit of fruit, a little bit of milk, some ice and some water, and that was good. And then I had my leftovers um, from yesterday, which was my husband had ordered or got us some food um, from Outback. And so that was really good. I enjoyed that. Um, 
what was the other thing we can start going to restaurants but yesterday was just going to be too busy um so hopefully we can get to a restaurant sometime soon that would be nice we haven't been out to eat in like <sighs> over a year because what what are we in february and i don't think we got to go out to eat right before the pandemic so um so yeah so we are looking forward to just having that time just to be in a different environment you know we're also looking to make some plans to go away soon i just want to like go in like the woods or something you know we originally had planned to like go not camping but like rent out a cabin or something so i'm hoping that we get to do that because that would be so nice to just get away and just like be in the woods somewhere anyway i just wanted to come on and just tell you guys that i'm making progress in my day we have done lots of things in terms of homeschooling and i forgot to mention last week that i've been working out <laughs> this is week 16 you guys week 16 I completely forgot to update my workout stuff last week so I did do my whole workout last week worked out with my sister that was week 15 so now I'm here week 16 I feel so good I have been working out consistently for the last 15 weeks for six days straight no stopping some days um, there were a few days where I only did like half a workout but because I'm actually working out with my sister, I am really, like, doing it. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. And I feel good. And I think that some days, you know, I don't feel great. And some days I do. And today is one of those days where I feel great. Okay. So, what I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you um, what I'm doing for... Wait, do I want to show you anything? What did I want to show you? Well, I, already, I think I already talked about it. I'm reading the science book. That's going well. Yeah, I don't think I have anything to show you guys. I just want to tell you guys that I am doing well. My arm's getting tired. So I wanted to do a new, like, fitness challenge. I started to work on... I found this girl. I just, like, honestly, I just YouTube. Like, I Google or YouTube search workout challenge and whichever one I feel like is like the best I don't like a whole lot of talking I don't like a whole lot of like yeah come on let's go I don't like a whole lot of that so I just like for the person to show me the workout and don't talk to me <laughs> which is weird because when I work out with my sister I am like pushing her and she can't stand me right now <laughs> but um but yeah, so it was this, I think she's called Gains by Brains or Brains by Gains, something. But she had a 24-day, she called it 24-day shred challenge. And I started out doing it, but then I, I got off to a late start one day and then I just didn't continue. But I have been working out. So that would be like my additional workout, if you know what I mean. So I'll keep you guys posted on what I'm going to be doing. My son just came he's making himself available <laughs> now i'm gonna sit down and uh, finish up his schoolwork with him i think they got a couple of tests to get through and yeah so i'll be back later hi guys it's the end of the day it's 5 35 i'm finishing up dinner i already ate i'm done with my eating i think i stopped at like 3 30 i had some cheese and a little bit of crackers just because Hey. That's just what I wanted. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, no excuses. But I had a good day. I was very productive. And I'm gonna continue to be productive today. I have to uh, do my refrigerator, empty that out. It's garbage day. And I have to, well, let me get the top of this so I can cook a little faster. Yes, so basically it was a good day. It was a good day. I worked out. Um, I think I had mentioned that earlier. This is like, um, week 16 of my workouts and I'm feeling good I feel like it's becoming a part of my life and I'm very happy about that so I'm gonna just keep pushing through I think tomorrow I'm going to try and share a little bit more of my homeschool curriculum that I'm using I'm not really sure which one I'm gonna be doing but um, but I genuinely enjoy teaching 
everything. And that's really the goal. It's like, do I enjoy teaching the books? Do I enjoy teaching the material? And I really do. There's not one curriculum that I despise. I've been listening to a lecture, I think I might have mentioned it earlier, on teaching for um, a mastery, master, uh, a mastery approach. And I'm familiar with the concept, but I've been doing it in a, in a, a different kind of way. And so he, the way he presented it, it's the same, it's the author or the man that I'm listening to, he wrote the book that I shared earlier about um, teaching science. And he speaks in a way that I understand I can take it in, process the information, and then start to apply it in my day-to-day -day life. So I'm looking forward to learning more from his uh, um, courses, from his lectures, and reading his books. So I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm tired, though. I'm tired. So I'm going to finish up my sparkling water. I'm drinking... Uh, this, I love these little waters and I just add a little bit of stevia to them and it's just like everything to me. So, how are you guys doing? Hope that you guys are doing well and, you know, working out. Are you guys working out? Are you guys eating right? Eating the way you need to eat to keep your body strong and healthy? So, I'm trying. <laughs> I am definitely trying, but I feel good, and that's what matters. Today was actually a def it was definitely a better mental day for me than last week, and I just assume that it's all hormonal, you know, because I'm not really going through anything particular. So I'm rambling. Let me go. I have to cook, finish cooking dinner, clean up, clean the fridge. I've lots to do, and time is of the essence. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys good morning, everyone. Oh, it's so nice, like the lighting. I don't know. Anyway, um, it is 9:50. My kids are very loud, and I'm just gonna combine yesterday's video with today <laughs> because life is just so busy. So today is Tuesday. February 16th, I think. Tuesday, February 16th, 2021. And I'm heating up my coffee. I did my workout with my sister. She does not like me at the moment. And she says, you know what? I used to like you, but now I don't anymore. So that makes me feel good because I know that we're getting a good workout in. And now we're going to get started with group time. Now, what I have uh, for today is we're going to continue reading this book. And you know what? We're reading The Wind in the Willows. And I really like this book. I just like, I like the writer. Who's the writer? His name is oh, Kenneth Graham. And it's such a good story. It really is, you guys. It's such a good story. Like, this use of language and vocabulary, the descriptive language, it's just, I'm enjoying it. So, and I remember listening to someone, I forget who it was, but I think he was actually quoting someone else, and it's something like, if you as an adult don't enjoy reading the, the story, then put it away, something like that. So, it is true. Like, I just love to enjoy the books that I'm reading to my kids. So, but there's a little bit of a debate. Well, not really a debate, because I just shut it down. <laughs> but we did get the fourth book of Merlin. And they are, well, my one son is begging me to read Merlin. We are on book four, because we love Merlin. But I'm not reading it yet. Because I want to finish The Wind in the Willows. And we're going to finish it. So, it's getting good. It's getting good. They're enjoying it. So I'm anyway. So I'm going to heat up my coffee. I'm letting. Um, so great. I'm letting the ground beef defrost, and I sat it out this morning just for a little bit, but I'm gonna stick it in the fridge now. So I'm feeling good. I am. 
forgot what I was saying yesterday. It was just my video yesterday. I'm afraid to edit it. Like, I'm really afraid to edit it. But I am going to include it. Um, so anyway, you would have already watched that part. But I am feeling so much better than last week. I don't know what it was, but last week just seems like compared to how I've been feeling in the last couple of days, it's just like... I don't know. Maybe because I got to go outside on Sunday. <laughs> because we don't get out very much. My husband drive, My husband takes the car to work every day. And it's just been kind of cold to just kind of take a walk. But I think I really want to start just going for a walk. Even if it's cold. Just because my mood has just been... Not that I've been nasty or super moody. But I think just getting out that Sunday. Even though I went to... I went to the store and just got a couple things. We went to like three different stores. And I walked because I didn't want to walk. I had to go to the mall and get some candles. And I did not want to walk in the mall with my mask on. So we parked kind of on the opposite side where, where we needed to be in terms of the store. If you know what I mean? Like you know how you could park close to like the store and the big mall. So anyway, I just didn't feel like walking with my mask on my face. So I just enjoyed the fresh air inhale exhale it was just beautiful my son walked with me and both my sons walked with me and it was nice my husband and my other son walked inside because they wanted to see the stores and I was like you know what I don't really want to see any stores because I don't really enjoy shopping the way I used to not that I was a shopper but anyway I'm rambling so I just want to say good morning and I'm feeling good energetic my body is so sore but I'm going to enjoy the rest of my collagen coffee. I didn't finish it. And, oh, I did want to say, I've been reading this history book. Um, and, you know, it's just interesting. I'm not going to share the book that I'm reading. But, it's just interesting since I've been, I've been learning so much on my own. Can you hear me? My kids are so loud. I've been learning so much. Studying and reading and really learning for myself. And it's amazing how misinterpreted things get how, or how misconstrued things get. How people's intentions um, can really distort the information that they present. And I just encourage you all to read for yourself. Read objectively. Don't read um, with bitterness or hatred you know really really read critically <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it but there's just so many lies out there so many and and, and it's caused so much within myself it's, it's called so much how can I say it oh, it's just so much that I want to say and, and really just trying to because I know I know this can be very controversial but in a nutshell study and read and just know that people have ulterior motives and yeah so anyway let me go and i will all right guys so i'm making me a smoothie quick protein smoothie and so i'm using uh this collagen peptides and this has for every two scoops you get 20 Oh, excuse me, you get eight. Why did I think it was 20 grams of protein? It's actually 18 grams of protein. So, my body is so sore. I can get this scoop out. But I was going to wait till 11 o'clock when my kids are eating a, um, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of fruit so I figured let me just go ahead and make my smoothie now because I'm about to get started with school and I probably won't have time to make myself a smoothie like a little bit later so the next thing I put in is a little bit of fruit and you'll see um, I just put in a very little I don't even put in a cup but just for the sake of this video let's measure it So here's my cup because I really don't want this to be like a super um, so like that's the amount of strawberries that I put in
and then the blueberries is just to give it a little bit of flavor. And that's the that's the blueberry. So see, it's not even a cup. So I'm gonna just put that in. Have to use. I just can't have a smoothie without without a little bit of milk. And I ran out of the unsweetened. But I'm not even gonna use a cup. And a cup is eight grams of carbs, but I'm gonna use half a cup. About half a cup, I should say. So, see? And then I'm gonna put a little bit of water. So this is about three quarter cups of water. And three of these little ice things. And I am going to put a little stevia. Um, but not much. I'm running out. I'm running out. Okay. So, you can't see it, but just put a little bit. Not a lot at all. I'm going to blend it up. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay. So I had to blend it up just a little bit more. But this is what it looks like. So it's nice and purple. And... Okay. I'm going to clean this out real quick. It's a little slushy. So I had to put just one more ice cube in because I want it to be pretty cold. You see, it's sort of settling at the bottom, so I just got to start it up. But it's good. So, this is just my quick little collagen smoothie. I feel like I just need a little bit more protein and the collagen um, just in my diet because I don't eat a ton. I don't eat as much as I used to, so I just want to kind of make sure that I'm getting enough protein because I'm, I've am i been working out consistently for the last 15 weeks. So, yeah, so anyway, good evening, everyone. It is 6.35, and I'm coming back on to close out my video. Hey, stop sounding like you all got this full of energy. Be ready. Oh, gosh. Let me be, I have to be quick because we're about to start Bible time, and so I wanted to make sure I end this video so I can... No, be real. I am tired. Yeah. But I've been sipping on coffee, and you gave me a B12, so it's kicking in. Anyway, I have, I signed up for a book club. Um, I joined the book club um, that's a part of my son's history program that he's going to be using. And it's like um, a book club for teachers and parents and things like that. Anyway, I have about 35 chapters to read. It's this big, thick textbook, and so I have lots of reading to do. So anyway... I am going to go, and I will see you guys tomorrow. And, oh, what did I eat? I ate my usual. I had turkey. Nope. I had turkey sausage with eggs on a wrap. Had a granola bar. and had a little bit of crackers. And that was pretty much it. I said. Come on, I finished eating at three. You got to stop eating my son's snack. You got to be so fatty. Anyway, that's what I ate. I finished eating at three o'clock. And we just finished our study session. And now we're going to have Bible time. We're reading. What are we, what are we reading? We're on. I think we're reading the last book of James. Yeah. I did my Bible reading this morning. I forgot to mention that. And that's it for the evening. So I hope that you guys are well. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.